Cause it's snowing and I'm shopping And I pop 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 fucking love Christmas Setting up the lights of my fucking house sings Cause I'm fucking batshit crazy about Christmas Hello and happy winter solstice You're probably wondering why I'm not saying Merry Christmas or Happy Hanukkah or even Happy Kwanzaa is because I've declared war on Christmas. It is a nasty, disgusting holiday. It needs to be eradicated. At least according to Bill O'Reilly over here. <sighs> Look, I have no problem with, with um, you know, Christmas. Hell, it's Christmas right now, and I don't feel very excited. Want to know what I got for my Christmas present? A fucking video game. Nothing too big. And maybe a few clothes. Oh, and a gift card. I'm gonna use that gift card to play Killzone. Um, get the Killzone collection. I heard it's a pretty good game. I also managed to get some anime game called um, Mugen Zol C. I mean, Z. And all I have to say is that is the most cutest game I have ever played. It's also badass. So it's cute and badass. <sighs> well, it is a Christmas special, so... I might be able to pull a few strings today. Unresolved Problem segment tonight. Every Christmas season, there are people who try to diminish the celebration of Jesus' birthday. We yeah, because we see people destroying... Uh, pictures of Jesus Christ, destroying crosses of Jesus Christ, um, destroying statues of Jesus Christ, the, um, pretty much doing everything to piss off Jesus Christ, you know, make him roll in his grave, only except I don't see that shit. Sure, there might be a few feminists that might shove a, a uh, cross up their ass just to, you know, show how much they fucking hate Christmas or whatever, or hate the Bible, but... I don't see it. I don't see this happening. We all know it, but we do have a whole bunch of war on Christmas deniers who say that I and others are making the whole thing up. Well, considering that you're all crazy and making up conspiracies, yeah, <laughs> you're fucking crazy. Well, here's the first evidence this year. A billboard put up by an atheist group telling children to skip church on Christmas Day. Because why in the world should we, you know, go to church during Christmas? I mean, Christmas is about family, am I right? So we should spend time with our family and not pray to some un quote unquote omnipotent being. Hell, the majority of my family is Christian and they don't go to church on Christmas. So, yeah. Nice, right? Billboards are run in a number of states. A lot of atheists feel alienated at this time of year, and we want them to know that they're not alone. And Joining us now from Boston, psychotherapist Karen Ruskin, who is agnostic. I cannot understand for the life of me. And you probably never will. Why anyone would bother trying to diminish the federal holiday of Christmas, Doc. If there was an actual war on Christmas, you'd think there might be at least some form of protest, but... It's just a billboard, dude. Why do they do it? Here's why. When you feel like you are in the minority, you experience the desire to try and push to sell your product, if you will. To Feminism in a nutshell. Thank you. Thank you very much for pointing that out. To sell your belief in a loud way to others in order to make yourself feel better, to validate your view. Okay, first of all, um, we're not trying to sell our beliefs, okay? We're still part of the minority. There's like 6% 6 of uh, Americans, I believe, are atheists. And about 20% does not affiliate with any religion. That includes theists and agnostics. Second of all, there is plenty of freaking billboards that says, God loves you. There's, um... Lots of Christian billboards. That one billboard is somehow a declaration of war, according to you. What about other religions out there? 
who, who celebrate um, Kwanzaa or Hanukkah. You know, do we see billboards of those? I don't see much of them. But maybe there's a few out there. But of course, according to you, if there's any billboard that isn't promoting something other than Christianity, other than, you know, God, then it's a war on Christianity. To make sure others hear you. I don't, you know, but it's so counterproductive. If you look at it Indeed. just just from an objective point of view, putting up a sign like this just makes people angry with you. How dare you promote your own beliefs? All right, because they feel they're being insulted, and they are. It's an insulting sign, is it not? Insulting is a bit of a stretch there. It's horrifically insulting. It's really disrespectful, but not unlike the bully who tries to push other people down in order to make themselves feel better. That's what's happening here. Okay, no, 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 no. This is in a complete false equivalence. Okay, these people are just expressing their beliefs. Okay, they're not trying to force it on you. Okay, there are plenty of, again, Christian pillboys out there, and, you know, you have no problem forcing, you know, pushing your beliefs down other people's throats. But when, you know, people start promoting their own beliefs, then all of a sudden there's a war on Christmas, which is incredibly stupid. So your theory is that atheists don't feel very good about themselves because they don't believe in the deity? Well, no. Not all atheists are as nasty as what's happening here. Some atheists have a true belief that there is no God, and they feel very comfortable with that. But there are others who have a very uncomfortable belief about it. They feel the need to push others down, and that's the group that you're seeing here. HOLY FUCK IS THIS WRONG! A group of people all coming together in a gang-like format in order to push other people down. But not all atheists are like that. So, apparently, us atheists came together to form a mob to push down Christians for their beliefs. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Now, why would that bullying group, uh, and I don't think there are that many of them, but there are some yeah. prominent uh, media people in that crew, um, why would they say, you know what, this isn't classy, it's not a nice thing to do. Our Christmas traditions, children love them, families get together, gifts are exchanged. The funny thing is, though, um, pretty sure that Christmas isn't the only holiday that people do that. It's a, series, a season of generosity and goodwill toward men. It almost, right. seems, it almost seems sadistic that you would try to hammer down something like that. I have yet to see people dying over the fact that they oh celebrate God. Christmas. Isn't that so sad? When I work with families in which one member of the family unit is atheist and the rest are not, they have this relationship dynamic exactly in which you are describing that's happening with the media and with others who are not atheists. And it is very upsetting in a family unit when you have one person shouting loudly in their nasty way about how everybody else in the family should be believing what they're believing. Again, feminism in a nutshell. Thank you for explaining that. The pushing of other people down the nastiness, the, the, the sign that I saw with the little girl, quite frankly, is very symbolic for how paradoxical it is. What I mean by that, not to be all psychobabbly here, what I mean is the sign has a little girl who's saying all I want for Christmas is not to go to church. Uh, what's Christmas? Christmas is all about the celebration of Christ. <laughs> Oh, wait, you're serious. Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> but now what she wants for Christmas is not to go to church. So that's very confusing, which once again shows why there is an emotional confusion. 
still celebrate, you know, Jesus is Christ without going to church. You know that, right? For some who are atheists in their need to push their product All right, to others real fast. to help themselves feel their rights. You probably know that we've done this over the years, and we point out, the, you know, we won the campaign where the department stores were ordering their employees not to say Merry Christmas. That's over with, and it was because the people said, you do that, we're not going to shop at your store. So that went away. But it's... I know tomorrow you're going to get the nasty little things in the media. Oh, here's O'Reilly with the war on Christmas. It's a phony war. You know, if they if somebody denies global warming, they're all over them. But yeah, because there's actual evidence for global warming. Just look at the ice caps. Look at mountains. There's actual evidence that global warming exists. A war on Christmas, on the other hand, it, the only evidence you have is a billboard. A billboard that's completely harmless you know at most it's just poking fun it's right before your eyes there there's the sign what generates that denial logic yeah well just like any type of denial if you don't allow yourself to believe a certain reality then you can stay in your belief system <laughs> If you choose not to believe that um, somebody has hurt you in a hurtful marriage, then you ignore the signs around you that that person's hurting you. Denial yeah. is exactly what it is. Deny it's happening, so therefore you feel like it's not. Okay, Doc. We appreciate it. Plenty more ahead as the factor moves along this evening. This is so incredibly fucking stupid. Oh, oh damn it all. Oh. Uh, well, it looks like this is the near the end of the video. You know, sorry if it's not, you know, supremely ultra expensive looking. Sorry that there's no massive explosions behind me. There's no special effects. Just me sitting on this not so comfortable chair. It's a, it's a school chair. Okay. Yes, it's a school chair. What hey, looks like a cousin of mine wants to say something. No? Yeah, fine. Oh, hey, I want to say something. Oh, my sister wants to say something. Yes, Well, you're going to say something, you know, got a message towards the people of America, you know, of Christmas, you know, want to say something? Jesus. It's just... Just put this on. Can people hear me? Yes, they can hear you. They can hear you. You know, it's recording. Look! Look at the camera! Look. Hi, people. Yes, say hi. I'm not sure if people can hear me, but... Just raise the volume. Have a wonderful Christmas. And eat bananas. Yes, eat bananas. <laughs> Have a night nice day. You're playing in the cell, but I believe in Jesus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eat bananas. You know, come on, show yourself. Come on, yeah. cousin. This is my cousin right here. He's a he's a Christian. Yep. I'm an atheist. He's, he's a Christian, Catholic. but we get along just fine. It's because he's family. I'm a Catholic. Cap We're no. Catholic. Catholic. My sister, my sister is Catholic. We're so. Not shut up. Yep, I'm a Christian. I love mm -hmm. Jesus. And I don't know why this kid is jumping on me. What are you doing? <laughs> okay. Yeah, just hanging just hanging out with the family. So later on I might record, get a few thoughts from the family about Christmas. So, until then, I'm the Atheist Gamer, and this is my cousin Giovanni. Peace. The